It's working. Okay. Well, sorry about that, everybody. Hold on. All right, let me uh, go get the chat back up. It's working. Yay! All right, sorry about that. Yeah, I was live. And of course, I want to start sneezing the moment I have to start talking. All right, looks like my microphone is working again. Uh, Matt Luden on Facebook with a donation of stars says, Doctor's trip today, so I can't stay. We'll watch the replay. Hope you have fun doing the Citadel. Oh, and now my computer is going dark. Of course it is. Of course it's just going dark right now. No, it's a monitor failing. It's a monitor failing and disconnecting. Okay, fine. That's fine. Well, let me get through this chat portion, and then I'll try to get my other monitor working again. Uh, hope you're having fun doing the Citadel. What are your thoughts so far since you're near the end of three? Will you try a full Andromeda playthrough next? Uh, probably not. Probably not. I played Andromeda in the past, and it didn't really resonate with me. But I have been having a lot of fun with the Citadel DLC. Um, I'm enjoying all of the characters. Garrett says, uh, hi, Oxhorn, and all in chat... Whoops. Flew off the screen. Uh, yeah, there he is. Uh, can't stay today, but we'll catch the replay. But Ox, curious, in your downtime, what music do you listen to? Also, in Fallout 76, I hate Night Shin. He's the worst lol. Yeah, Night Shin is really frustrating, though in Steel Rain, you get to know him a little bit better. And uh, there is something honorable about him. But yeah, he's, he doesn't have very much of a personality. As for music I listen to, I listen to my local classical station um, when I'm driving or working out. When I'm editing, I typically listen to a couple of um, uh, Scandinavian rock station, uh, uh, metal, Scandinavian metal stations. I like a lot of Blind Guardian and stuff like that. Uh, Matt Luden says, props on the silent film, Ox. Hope you get it fixed soon. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, I did get it fixed. Finally. Garrick Anderson says, Seahawks, what do you think will be the next crisis in Outer Worlds 2? Asteroids. I'm guessing asteroids. Like hitting things. That's probably what it is. Quincy Lucas says, hello, Ox. Hope you're doing good. Thank you, Quincy. I'm doing great. Good to see you today. Now, let's see if I can get my other monitor working again. There. Yes. Why? Why did it shut off? It's so weird. Okay. Where's... Facebook. Let's refresh. And we are live. Facebook. There we go. Now, where's the YouTube Refresh. chat? Refresh. There's the YouTube chat. Uh, Matt. Uh, <clears throat> oh, there we go. I see it. All right, let's see uh, what we're doing on uh, YouTube. I know we had multiple chats. And I lost the last one, so... What happened there, says Jonathan uh, Perdicaris. My, my microphone wasn't working. Sound wasn't working, and uh, I had to, like, unplug my... Um, mixer. I had to unplug my mixer and plug it back in. Not sure why that worked, but it did. I'm feeling worlds better, yet I still have um, a bit of a drippy nose, so pardon me in advance. 
I'll probably be blowing my nose pretty off us. Anyway, it's great to see all of the regulars and the um, members and the Patreon subscribers on YouTube today. Automatic Beats with the Gold Derby. Jonathan Perticaris, Survivor from the Old Era. Uh, Brandon Beltfed, Jersey. Matt Roland, John DeGian Berardino, Julian Z. Uh, Matt Siski, Bingo Bill, Mila, Antonio, Kit Cowling, Slatty Bartfest with a Gold Derby, Antonio with a Gold Derby, Jeremy, Melanor Richards with a Gold Derby, and Julian Z with the first super chat of the day says, Hi Ox, so good to see you on this Mass Effect Monday. Hope you're well. So excited for you to hang out with more allies, but sad that the trilogy is coming to a close soon. Watching you play makes me nostalgic. To my first playthrough. Yeah, I'm also sad that we appear, appear to be coming close to the end of our Mass Effect journey. I don't plan to play Andromeda. Uh, there just wasn't enough there that was compelling, and it didn't have the magic of uh, the Mass Effect Legendary Edition of, of the three Mass Effect games. <clears throat> so I probably won't be playing Andromeda. I'll be moving on to a different franchise after this one ends. Haven't made a decision. I don't know what that's going to be. People say Deus Ex. People say Far Cry. I, I, haven't, I haven't, haven't figured it out. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm. Uh, it, uh, it's a little bittersweet that we are coming to the end of it. But we have been going strong for what? 44? 43 weeks now? <clears throat> Is it 43? Is this the 43rd episode of Mass Effect? Yeah, we've been going strong for quite some time, so <clears throat> we're definitely getting our money's worth out of the game, and it's been a blast, but also sad to move on. James Eckenrode, a member for five months and a bronze ox, says, Happy Easter, ox. Hope your weekend was enjoyable. It was. I had such a great weekend. I had my brother and his two children over, and of course, my kids were here. And we just let them rip and tear around the property. We did an Easter egg hunt. We had Easter baskets. <clears throat> I, um, my brother and I were, uh, were clever with the egg hunt and the kids. And so, um, while he was entertaining the kids inside the house, I got the Easter baskets and I put them out on the front porch. Then I pretended that I got a FaceTime call from the Easter bunny. And I put an image on my phone with the Easter Bunny and it said, Easter Bunny FaceTime. And I'm like having a conversation. And the Easter Bunny is saying that he has the baskets outside. Oh, the baskets, they're outside? Really? And you hid the eggs in the property? Wow, what, what do you want to tell the kids? Don't go too close to the road. Okay, yeah, I'll make sure they know that. Oh, and don't go into the forest. Right, that you didn't hide any eggs in the forest? Okay, I'll, I'll make sure the kids know that one too. Right. Oh, and you don't want them to squabble over the Easter eggs. Who got the most? Right, I'll make sure the kids know that as well. You know, it was one of those, right? So, <laughs> and they had a great time. All four kids running around with their baskets, finding eggs. And uh, it went on for, you know, it was a great, great weather for it. Like, they predicted rain, but we got partially sunny skies. And when it was time for the Easter egg hunt, the sun came out in full blast. And it was great. So, fond memories, lots of photos. Had a wonderful Easter, and I hope everyone else celebrating did as well. Caleb Sisk says, uh, Hey Ox, how was your day and how was your Easter? Mine was good, and I also stayed up late playing God of War. It's a good game, God admit. Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying God of War uh, more than I thought I would. I mean, not that I didn't think I would enjoy it, but I guess I really didn't know what to expect going into it. And now that I've definitely gotten my feet wet with the game, it's, it's a lot of fun. I think it's the game I most look forward to. Um... And we've been playing Mass Effect and Assassin's Creed for so long, and I'm enjoying the snot out of all of them. But the one that I think about when I'm not streaming, the one that I, that I kind of wish that I was playing <laughs> throughout the week, is God of War, because it's just so much fun. Uh, the Raging Krogan, a member for seven months and a Silver Ox, says, Hey Ox, I missed a few streams. Sorry, been pretty busy lately. I got an interview today. I can't stay too long. Thanks for always posting past streams. You're welcome, the Raging Krogan. Uh, you've been watching since the beginning, so I hope you're able to catch up on the streams that you missed. Congratulations on the job interview. I hope it all goes well, and I'm glad you're putting work and your priorities first. Uh, Sarah in the chat says, Chowder Tax, I'm geeking, so proper, much fluff. Is he over there somewhere? Is, is he in my office?
All right, well, I'm sure he'll come out to say hi in a minute. Did you see him earlier? <laughs> that cat, he hides. I don't know where he is half the time. Pavel in the chat uh, is sharing with us another Torment character from his favorite game. Uh, Trias, diva equals angel who was imprisoned for lying, betraying, and planning a coup against heaven. All right. Thank you for that one, Pavel. And then Lone Wolf Airsoft says, Hey, Ox, love your Mass Effect streams. Do you think you'll try the Halo Master Chief Collection next? Halo is a good game, and I think we'd all love to watch you freak out during the horror parts. There are horror parts in Halo? I have to admit, I don't know anything about the Halo franchise aside from the multiplayer um, part of it. When I was younger, I remember when, I think it was Halo two or three came out or something. I played a few multiplayer matches with my friends, but I never did the campaign. I never did the story. I don't know anything about it. I know the main character is named Master Chief. My son even dressed up as Master Chief for Halloween, but he picked that costume out just because the helmet looked cool, not because we know anything about the story. So yeah, I suppose I should probably do the Halo franchise just so that I know it. Uh, but is it, would it be good for this show? Would it be good to replace Mass Effect 3 with? I don't know. Let me know in the chat, I guess. Simon Passat, a member for 16 months and a Silver Ox, says, Hey Ox, would you try Fable The Lost Chapters? It's funny characters are ideal for here. Maybe. Um, you know, Fable, it's like a, med a, a fantasy game. Uh, swords and sorcery and all that. I I, I, well, I have traditionally said that I stay away from sword and sorcery games as they're really not my cup of tea. And yet now I'm playing God of War and uh, I played Witcher and, <laughs> and I seem to be starting to play a lot of swords and sorcery types game uh, type games and enjoying them too, like really getting into them. So never say never. And maybe I'll, I'll tackle Fable, but um, you know, I have memories of Fable. I think it was Fable 2 or Fable 3 or something when it came out in the 90s in the early thousands. I remember watching my brother play it and it just wasn't really, like I didn't. Then again, I don't remember any of the characters. And from what I remember of him playing, he was just this little kid who was trying to you know, pick up chickens or do errands for a guy. And I was like, oh, this again? But uh, to be fair, I didn't really give it uh, a chance. So maybe I should. Survivor from the old era says, I think I figured out the ghost baby mystery. If your blinds are open at a specific angle, the fan in the window kind of gives a baby shape reflection. You think that's what it is? I did change the angle of my blinds recently because I discovered that the, uh, the smoke doesn't like to go out the window if the slats in the window face down like that. So I had to face them up like that, and suddenly that fan is sucking the smoke out of this office like, like a train chimney. And I don't, I don't understand the air fluid, air fluid dynamics or whatever. But yeah, I had to turn them like that, and now the smoke actually leaves the room like I intended to. Now, does that change the ref the reflections and make people hallucinate that there's a baby in here? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll learn more on Scotch and Smoke Rings Thursday. Pavel, uh, with another Planescape Torment factoid, last week compensation fact. Thank you, Pavel. Mort, the floating skull, Ignis, a flaming man, and Valor, an animated armor suit, were humans once. If you get deep enough into Nameless One's story, you'll find out what happened to them. All right. Well, I always love a good bit of character development in any RPG. Thank you, Pavel. Gontro Dim in the chat today says, I am both happy and sad that the Mass Effect series is ending. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel too. I've so thoroughly enjoyed it. And everybody in the chat for years has been telling me to play Mass Effect. Back when I was just doing Fallout, people were saying, you need to do Mass Effect 4 videos and all that stuff. And I always kind of put it off because, you know, glitzy sci-fi was never really my thing. I never really wanted to do like a, a polished glitzy sci-fi. I was really into post-apocalyptic stuff. But then I finally get to it and man, it's just, it's exactly the kind of RPG I want to play. It's story rich. The characters are all well fleshed out and it was so well done and we've had such a great time. I mean, I am 43 episodes into it, so I think it's about time we wrap it up. 
But I've enjoyed every single moment. And the Citadel DLC is like the cherry on top of this delicious Mass Effect Sunday. You know, yes, people have been saying it's fan service, but it's exactly what I want after dedicating 43 weeks to this game, getting to know these characters, getting to know this ship in this universe. I want a little bit of time to just plan a party. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go chat with people and plan a party. If you're expecting any combat in today's broadcast, you may be disappointed. Or who knows, maybe I'm gonna be surprised. I'm not expecting any combat, but maybe we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I'm right there with you, Gontaro Dim. Kurt Nicholson in the chat says, uh, Check those flacking blit reapers right in their walshes. Also, can't wait for you to see the many awesome cutscenes in the Citadel and for the finale. Get ready for awe, fear, confusion, and resolution. I am ready for all of those things. Thank you very much, Kurt. Amy Hudson says, I think today is the day I get my gold derby. Hey, Amy Hudson, congratulations on the upcoming gold derby. I can't see it right yet uh, in the super chat, but I'll keep an eye out. Thank you so much for your dedicated support. Daddy of One says, Happy Mass Effect Monday, Ox. I hope you and your family had a great Easter. Thank you very much, Daddy of One. I hope you did as well. MG says, If you play the Halo franchise, start with Reach. Start with Reach? Okay, is there an order? I should, um, I should do them in if I choose to do them. I really want to play Dead Space. And I've been wanting to play Dead Space since the first one came out back in like 2008. Um, but uh, when I bought it, I couldn't get it to work on any of my machines. But I hear that are, they're remastering it, right? So I'm really looking forward to Dead Space being remastered so I can kind of give it the due diligence that I have done to the Mass Effect series. Uh, but yeah, I need to f figure out something to do before that happens, so. Halo? I mean, you guys want to replace Mass Effect with Halo? Maybe. Julian Z says, oh, Wow, Ox, I'm surprised you feel that way about God of War. I know you liked the game, but I didn't think it was up there after last week. I mean, it made you move the mic away angry. I'm glad you feel that way, though. Yeah, I mean, I was frustrated and angry that I couldn't beat that Valkyrie. But don't misinterpret my frustration at my inability to comprehend the game mechanics to an extent where I can defeat an enemy with unable to appreciate the intricacies of the character development and the plot, which I am able to do. I mean, last week's episode, after we got past the Valkyrie, uh, you know, the we, we had the son have his issues, and then we went to the gates of hell and back, and then the son is doing better, and we're learning more about the nature of the son. Like, every time we do a broadcast in God of War, there are storyline beats and plot development that makes the world much more interesting, and that's where I have a lot of appreciation for it. Plus, unlocking that second weapon in the last broadcast has just made combat so much more rich and interesting, and the puzzles are always fun. So, yeah. I will eventually get to the point where I can beat the optional bosses. I don't know, honestly, okay, let me take that back. I'm not promising that after the story I'm gonna go back and beat every single optional boss, but I'm definitely gonna try each of them. And I'll probably go back to revisit a few of them just to see if I can, you know, once I get better, just to see if I can defeat them. Roland Fisher says, another vote for Halo. Great lore slash twists like in Mass Effect. Okay, lots of Halo fans in the chat today. Phil says, I'm surprised you haven't explored or, uh, your side quests in God of War. Yeah, I need to do that. You know, the reason I, I haven't been is because earlier on, earlier on, people said I should wait on the side quests. And the reason ended up being that all of these locations have all of these puzzles where you need a full kit in order to unlock them. And so I needed to get Murmur, the talking head. I needed to get the ability to uh, explode the vines. And I needed the the flaming weapon. Like now I've, I feel like I can unlock a lot of stuff. Because I would hate to go back and have to revisit all of these places. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll start trying some side locations now that we can actually unlock everything. We'll see. A uh, survivor from the old era says, spoiler alert, the final enemy in Mass Effect is a pack of space wolves. Oh, God, not space wolves. Dressed in communist power armor, I bet. 
Ethan H. says, when you get to the party, you won't be able to get all of the interactions in one playthrough. So chat will likely nag you to save some up to you to save up to you whether you ignore them or not except me i'm special of course you are ethan uh okay so you're recommending i save before we go into the party that way we can reload the save and go get all of the interactions between the characters all right something to consider Uh, Sagacity, a member for 19 months, and the Gold Ox says, Heads up, the thumbnail says part 44, which is correct, but the title on YouTube says 43. Okay. Oh, Hold on. Okay, there we go. Fixed. Might take a minute to get through, and you might have to refresh, but... I think I fixed it. MG says, uh, reach Halo 1 to ODST, Halo 3 to 4, and Infinite. That's the order? Okay. Let me copy this. That's a lot of games. Are there that many Halo games? Holy cow. All right, so your recommendation is in, that I play them in the order of reach. Halo 1. So reach before Halo 1? Halo 2. Halo ODST? What's that? ODST. Official developmental soundtrack? What, what's an ODST? Halo 3 through 5. Holy cow, that's a lot of games. Dude, I can't do this. I can't. <laughs> it's been nearly a year doing three Mass Effect games. Now, how many games is it? Reach 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 games. 8 Halo games? I don't know. I think, I, I think we're just going to have to cherry pick the best. From the Halo franchise and do that. Because I don't know if I can do eight Halo games. Yikes. Kurt Nicholson says vote for Fable. Especially two and three since they turned steampunk. Oh. I must have played Fable. Uh, watched my brother play Halo 1. Or Fable 1 back in the day. Also looking handsome today. Oh, thank you Kurt Nicholson. That there is a plus two beard of pepper. That there is a plus two beard of pepper. Beard of pepper? Beard of power, surely, you meant this is a beard of power. Oh, you mean like a salt and pepper beard? Am I getting all salt and peppery? I mean, kind of, if pepper was brown, because I've always had a brown beard. Salt and pepper is like for people with black hair who are aging. It's not really salt and pepper. Anyway, thanks, very kind, Kurt Nicholson. Gontro Dim says, maybe that baby keeps haunting scotch and smoke rings, so you'll play Chernobylite and see it in the game. I think you would like playing it. Thank you, Gontro Dim. Maybe I will. Maybe. I have played it. And from what I played, you know, it didn't really resonate with me, but it's certainly something I can revisit in the future. Okay, let's see. Sarah says gray is for wisdom. Thank you. I'll take that. Ken says, Ox, how could you not do a party-themed thumbnail? I mean, that, that would have been a good idea, but I'm, I have to use uh, stock imagery. Well, not stock imagery, but official um, marketing imagery from the game for my thumbnails, as to my knowledge, there's no screenshot feature available within the game. At least there wasn't in the first couple. Is there one in Legendary? I don't know. I don't think so. But, uh, yeah, so that's what I'm limited to, and I didn't find a party-themed image to use. But maybe I can change the thumbnail for the video on demand later. All right, uh, folks, it's time to get to the game. It's good to see everybody. You, you guys are excited for today's broadcast. I can tell. Uh, it's good to see everybody so thrilled to be here. I'm thrilled to be here, and I'm glad you guys had a, a wonderful weekend. Sounds like so many of you did. Uh, Quincy Lucas on Facebook says, Hello, Ox. Hope you're doing good. I am doing good. Thank you so much. Garrick Anderson says, Hey, Ox, what do you think will be the next crisis? Oh, I read that one already. But then after that, he says, Be sure to complete all of the arena side quests. There's an ill child in the game who's counting on you. What? No. I'm sorry. I don't, ill child or no. I'm not doing the arena. I don't do arenas in games, right? In The Witcher, all of the fights, the boxing fights... No, I, I, I got to a point, and then I was done, right? 
I think I got to a point where I, I, I won them all and then I lost one and then I didn't want to do it anymore. In, in um, Cyberpunk 2077, all of those fights and battles? No. In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I did all of the, the arena fights. Okay, I did those. But I don't want to do more arena fights. Now, I'm not doing the arenas. I'm just going to go find the quests and find the characters and talk to people and skip the arena. The Dungeoneer says, uh, the Halo games are all relatively short, to be honest. Uh, also, ODST means Orbital Drop Shock Trooper. They're like very elite Marines in the Halo universe. Ooh. So they're shorter games? Okay. Maybe. Freddy Simmons says, ODST equals Orbital Drop Shock Trooper. As I understand it, you play as one of the Marines instead of as Master Chief. Interesting. Well, sounds interesting. Thank you so much for that. Maybe I'll have to give it a, a, a consideration. Travis Healy on Facebook says, Ox, can I get a shout out? I'm trying so hard, but no one watches my videos. I'm playing Fallout 4. You know, it's tricky to create a community and um, to keep it alive and to make it thrive. Uh, I don't even really know if I've got the answer to it because there are a lot bigger communities out there than mine. Um, but all I can recommend is uh, consistency and just, you know, having realistic expectations for yourself. If you were watching a video of yourself, would you find yourself interesting? Would you want to sit down and watch yourself for an hour and a half or four hours and be honest with yourself? And the, if the answer is no, figure out why, and then you can change a little bit, uh, change that part of your presentation, just to make, uh, you know, make things a little bit more compelling. But Travis Healy, good luck to you, and I wish you all the best. Weird Beard says, you'll be going to the arena if you want to or not. You're doing the character stories. Sorry, bud. <sighs> I don't want to do the arena. Dragon Fan says, you need to do the arena fight to hang out with Jack. Oh, okay. Suddenly I found my motivation. Thank you, Dragon Fan. That's all I needed to know. Oh, Oxhorn, you got to do an arena. Ugh. You can hang out with Jack afterwards. Oh. All right, then. I find myself motivated. Uh, I don't know. says, love you and your content, mate. Awesome beard looking like a Viking. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. All right, let's get to it. Come on. Why is it frozen? Mass Effect. Why is it frozen? Well, I've been chatting too long and Mass Effect decided to glitch out on me. Let me control alt delete this bad boy and try again. Here we go. <laughs> Deathica says, lol, 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 Ox, what about Liara, lol? I mean, I can see Liara whenever I watch. She's on the ship, and we're close, you know? I'm like, I just want to see Jack and spend some quality time. I don't want to do anything inappropriate with Jack. It's not like a date. Is it? There we go. All right, I thought I heard Chowder walking around here. Where'd he go? Chowder? He's waiting at the door. All right, there he is. Say hi to everybody. You want to go out? All right. Let's take him out. Competitors, remember to redeem your winnings at the Omax Arena store located in the main lobby. 
Okay. Now, where were we? David Harder on uh, YouTube says, Afternoon, Ox, for another lovely Mass Effect Monday. Out of curiosity, have you ever listened to the Stupendium? They have some songs themed around games you've played on this channel. Stupendium. No. I haven't. I'll have to look into it. Thank you. Uh, Jocelyn Ryan says, Happy Monday to Ox and all in chat. Can't stay. Got to make money to support my Oxaholic Go habit, lot, lol. Thank you for Jocelyn. Uh, and, uh, and your donations work great on this channel. So thank you for that one. And Alt Grendel says, Donation for Chowder's Cat Toys. Oh, that's kind, Alt Grendel. Okay, so this is the arena. We came here and we did one match in our last broadcast and that was that was good. I was done at that point. I didn't need to do any more. So let's find what else we can do. Wow, this place is overwhelming. Okay, on this floor we've got Javik, Zaid, Specialist Trainer, and we purchase party supplies by Garrick. Silverston Strip. So three is lower Silverston Strip. Okay. Let's explore here first. Casino. So who's this patriarch person you keep going on about? What? You never heard of mighty patriarch? Alright, so party supplies are above us. I'm gonna okay, avoid Raynard, that. Place your bet. Is this another Varen? Oh yeah. Oh, this ought to be good. A live hollow feed of slow, ugly mongrels are running around. Select one of the four available Varen to place your bet. If the selected Varen wins the race, you receive a payout based on that Varen's odds of winning. Varen with a lower chance of winning give a higher payout. Nah, easy fix. Varen racing live from the pits of Tachanka. You sure you want to throw your Let's go eight to one. Seven fifty. Oh, 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 oh! Hey, I won! Eight to one odds! And I won! Yes! Alright, I'm gonna leave now. That was great, man, I love the Varen racing. Uh, Ot Otakon Exodia, the Phantom Companion, says, Hey, yo, how's it going? I hear you like the Venom shotgun. Nice choice. Gauss shotgun and minigun. Thoughts on how you feel about them? Uh, in Fallout 76, 
I'm really not a fan. Um, they honestly don't pack as much of a punch as I expected them to. Well, I'm, I'm talking about the Gauss shotgun. I, I haven't played with the Gauss minigun yet. Go, go, go! Hey, how's Shore Leaf treating you? Good. The break was nice. We've been fighting Reaper controlled Get. Oh, that's brutal. I know, right? Why did I even bother equipping us with barriers against those guys? Hey, at least you can get your barriers back up if you charge someone. No hustlers at my table. Fair warning. Try our quad kicker cocktail in the Silver Sun Bar on the second floor. All right, I think that's it for this floor. Okay, that's where we purchase party supplies. Hey, let's wait for Garrus. Oh yeah, we're gonna dance with Garrus. Oh, someone caught her eye. <laughs> Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. <laughs> I thought you two should meet. Hello? Shepard! Right. So, um... Hmm. Hello. And... Hmm. Oh, Garrus. She's pretty. Oh, we're, we're giving him, him advice. You're the bad boy! Oh. <laughs> Oh, should we do the the uh, the compliments? Should we compliment her, or should he be a bad boy? Come on, be a bad boy, Garrus. I gotta see bad boy Garrus. Remember, you're Archangel. So, there were uh, <clears throat> there were these mercs raising hell on Omega. I had to take them down. Now I've got these scars. I see. Maybe there's an ointment for that. <laughs> Now I've got these scars, <laughs> Garrus. Oh, this is awful. Why did they have to make it so that we get to see Garrus flirting? No. Brett Busts, uh, a member of 31 months in the Silver Ox with a gold derby, says, Good morning, Ox. I don't know if anyone told you this, but those people talking about their combat experience are references to the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Ah, okay. I keep it simple or looking for a good time. <laughs> Is there, a, <clears throat> is there a way to win this? Like, all right, we gotta have, I wanna see Garrus as awkward as possible. Invite her out. What do you say we blow this joint? I've got this big gun back at my place. I'd like to show you. What? Garrus? Yeah. Well, <laughs> listen, I've got this thing I forgot I had to do and I should probably just go do it. <laughs> Come back to my place. I want to show you my big gun. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus and I'd love to have a drink with you. There we go. That's a little bit better. Oh my gosh. Garrus and his guns. Right. <laughs> I can't believe Garrus's way of flirting has come back to my place. Let me show you my big guns. Wow. All right, well, at least we passed the Paragon check and we got him a date. Thanks, man. So what's your trick? A 
That's more than 2,500 credits you got there. There's gotta be a trick to it. No tricks, just lucky. Nah, nobody gets that lucky. Come on. Like I said, just a good run. Man, they really don't want us to touch the waterfall. Okay, now we know where to go to get party supplies. I need to avoid that. Let's go do some of the other things we can do and come back here later. Wow, this funny is... Business. Hey, Javik! Let's wait for Javik. Change the Punk says, now Garrus is off to do more calibration. Join your shore leave, Javik. I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! What? Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. <laughs> Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. Aww. All right, places oh, everyone! Double. Quickly, quickly! Cue the backdrop! Roll cameras! And action! Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. <laughs> so are you guys just making this up, or what? Of course not. A writer wrote it, so it must be true. Oh, God. Urgently true. Ah, you die now! Not yet. That line comes later. The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I've been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you. Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Whoa! Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers. If only someone had warned us about them years ago. Blasto! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory senses. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of them. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? <laughs> but it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean, no like you! This one has found his motivation. <laughs> Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Sovereign's half-brother sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! <laughs> your line. Say your line. Oh, you die now! Oh no! The Vorcha Counselor is indoctrinated! 
This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. <laughs> this one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. Whoa! May we go now, Commander? Strike the set. Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. Wow. Okay. Poor Javik there. Well, we got his story. HDNXO says, uh, Welcome to the Citadel DLC, where funky and weird come together for a great time. I'm here for it. Freddy Simmons says, Shepard looks really out of place in his dress uniform. Yeah, he does. Can we change from the menu? No. I should have changed back. DragonFan209 says, It's the future and they don't use green screen? Apparently not. With the production of Francis Kidd's All L4 Hamlet coming to a close, I am now available. Sincere request. If you know any good agents, please send them my way. Poor guy. All Elcor cast of Hamlet. God. So can we expect more Elcor Shakespeare from you? Actually, I'm mounting a production of Macbeth with a new Krogan talent as the lead. He brings a, a raw brutality to the stage that emphasizes the ruthless actions of his character. Sounds like inspired casting. I like to think I have an eye. Oh, so this is how he picks up on um, Asari women. Okay, what's this? Uh, arcade? The real difficulty, of course, will be getting the pie jack to perform. Pie jack? I don't recall there being pie jacks in Macbeth. Unless they lived in Burnham Wood. Did pie jacks come to Dunsany? I added the pie jack. He will view events with an animal innocence uncorrupted by ambition. I can't believe no one's thought of that before. It's brilliant. How did you get your lead actor to work with wow. a live Pijack? Oh, he came round once I explained Pijack's importance to the production. They'll work marvelously together. Once the Pijack stops scaling the set pieces and making nests out of the props. Not to worry, productions always appear disastrous until just before the curtain rises. Oh, of course. It's going to be an amazing show. Oh, I got good feelings. So, can we expect more Elcor Shakespeare from you? Actually, I'm not. All right, that just keeps going. With a new talent. Let's see, what's this? Ethan H. says, new friend interactions appear when you go back to the apartment and check email. They appear periodically, and there's probably more waiting now. Okay, thank you, Ethan. Welcome to Castle Arcade. Castle Arcade. Whoa. Area Tlok, number one. Aria is wow. She likes uh, she likes this game. James Vega is on there. Barla Vaughn, Al Jelani. Who's Shifty Cal? Relay defense. Relay defense. What's this? Relay defense. How to play? Target enemies as they appear on the screen. Keep launching allied ships on a row to get them safely to the mass relay to maintain a score multiplier and receive points. Only three missiles can be active at any one time. Destroy enemies before they damage the planet. If your planet takes too much damage, the game is over. Earn a prize for achieving a high score. Price to play 200 credits. <laughs> okay. Miss. Miss. Enemies approaching. 
Gosh! Enemies approaching! Congratulations! That's a new high score! Alright, interesting game. What's this? this Shattered Ezo. Punch your opponent to lower their health meter and earn points. Survive as many opponents as possible while earning points. Block incoming jabs to prevent damage. Charge up a punch to break through blocks. Jab to interrupt an opponent that's charging up. Jabbing when an opponent is blocking reduces your score. Consecutive jabs causes increased damage. Earn a prize. Left click to punch. Hold left mouse button. Then release to deliver a more powerful punch. Right click to block. I love how the heads come off. It's Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Congratulations, oh. that's a new high score. <laughs> the heads pop off. Okay. All right, and then what's this? Towers of Hanoi. Towers of Hanoi? I don't think so. this. She's got him twitching. <laughs> Brilliant engine. Excellent use of the Daylucian gambit. Is this space chess? Space it's chess. called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. Oh. To Caesar. What is this? Trainer, <laughs> would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. You are, you've, you've grown as a person, we can say. <clears throat> or just win this thing. Specialist. Commander. Kick her ass. <laughs> Roger that. <laughs> oh God. They're getting all Quentin Tarantino on us with space chess. So what so much for your frigate. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. So they get shocked if they lose a piece? Ouch. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. 
You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. So, your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations, yes. Specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman. But she just lost her last frigate. Ah! Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Oh, trainer. Dodge, dodge. Boom! Ah! Whoa! Thanks, Commander. <laughs> and I apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. What kind of barbaric game is this? The lady gets electrocuted until she is seizing on the ground and everyone's just like, yes, well played. Yes. Mm. There's a good electrical job there, yes. <clears throat> uh, Jocelyn Ryan says, heads up, your Facebook stream isn't going. Back to work for me to support my oxaholic habit. Oh dear, is it not working? Let me take a quick look at this. <clears throat> Uh, Jocelyn says uh, that I missed her earlier stars, but it's definitely Monday. Had to get my streak in, but back to work to support my oxaholic habit. Thank you for that one, Jocelyn. Let me refresh Facebook here, see exactly what's going on. Well, it looks like it's working. Wait, no. No, it ended. Yeah, you're right. My Facebook stream ended. Garrick, uh... All right, let me... Let me refresh this. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry about that on Facebook. Um, the audio problem at the beginning of the broadcast somehow did an interruption which caused uh, Facebook to not sync correctly. Yeah, my broadcaster here says it's unable to connect to Facebook. So, sorry about that. But I am still live on, on YouTube, and so we'll keep trucking on. Uh, Matt Rowland says, Ox, that, uh, was that chess game invented by Peter Venkman? He was always shocking people, too. Peter Venkman? Is that a reference that I don't quite understand? Because I don't quite understand that reference. But thank you for that one, Matt. Peter Venkman. And that puts us back here. Okay. Otaconic Sodia, the Phantom Companion, says, if you wish for some top-tier outfit armor, beat Arya's high score at the ar arcade. Although the prized gear was developed by Cerberus. Bit of a grind. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the grind, but thank you for the heads up. Okay. This goes back to the arena, right? New player. New, new player. Armax Arena. All right, so we've done that side. Exactly the same we the came others. from there. That's Tiberius Towers. Let's head down here, see what we can find. And then we'll go back to the apartment and check our mail. Try to get through as many as we can before buying the party supplies. The bottom floor to the Castle Arcade. Have we been here? Okay, I think we've actually uh, explored all of this. So, let's go back to the apartment and check our terminal to see if we've got anything new. Castle Arcade Zaid. Zaid is that Castle Arcade? 
How did we miss that? Tristan Fleet says, uh, sorry I'm late. Nice to be here on Mass Effect Monday. Good to have you here, my friend. Oh, there's an upstairs. Oh, he's trying to do the claw machine. <laughs> You're mine, you bastard. God damn it. Said? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looks simple enough. God damn it. <laughs> Where's the kid? What do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kid's game? <laughs> you really want one of those plushy toys. God, I'm right, I do. Okay, then. Credits. Here, let me. Oh, God. Oh, wow, Shepard! Beginner's luck. It's obviously rigged somehow. <laughs> but I just... Never mind. I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. You can do it, Zaid. We all have faith in you. No. No. On. Oh! Okay! All right. Here you go, sweetheart. That's the kid? Okay, Zaid. We're two. How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? More claw? We could say, move on, you conquered it, or, nah, let's play. But this time, you play with your own damn credits. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. Addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. <laughs> I think I knew that about you. Addicted to the claw machine. Poor old Zaid, that's how he ends. Lives out his days playing claw machine games. Of course it was some Asari. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can try this. Claw game activate. Uh, orange, yeah, yeah, yeah. When a game starts, okay, whatever, I don't need to read that. I got it. What will you win? Music track for the apartment. Oh, cool. I get actual. What'd I get this time? Plush toy for the apartment. Oh, no. I'm going to be doing this all day. What I get, what I get, what I get, what I get. Music track. Eh, I don't want a music track. Come on, give me something better. There's one orange in there. What's it what's the orange? I've gotten purple, blue, and green. Music track for the freaking apartment. I don't want another music track for the apartment. Orange. Waiting for it. Any second now. Dang it. I just gotta go for it. Congratulations. More music. No, no, no. I want the orange.
Come on. Is it in a predictable pattern? Okay, if it's predictable, then the bottom second to the right has one on like the second turnaround. Congratulations! Ooh, You're I won winner. money. What will you win? Oh! The orange is a weapon mod, says the chat. Yeah, but for what me what weapon? Congratulations! Music, You're music track. I don't want any more music. What will you win? Congratulations! I'm done. I don't want to care with the music. What will you win? Ooh, I missed it. Congratulations! You're a winner. What will you win? Well, of course, it doesn't appear when I'm hovering right over it. Oh, this one's just oscillating. All right, I'm done. Which gun to use for best armor penetration? Congratulations, you're a winner. Okay, that's everyone. Let's go check our terminal before going to do party uh, party supplies. If you come up against the marauder, you detonate your Julian Z says uh, Ox the instructions tell what color to give gives what price. Oh, is that why I should have read the instructions? No. Matt Rowland says Ghostbusters. Bill Murray's character was Peter Venkman. He shocked students who got psychic questions wrong at the beginning of the movie. Oh, okay. Really? He shocked students? Yikes. Have a good evening now. Metaborn604 says, Hey Ox, first time donating to anyone on YouTube. Been here since the Fallout 4 days. Keep up the good work, stay safe, and God bless. Thank you so much, Metaborn. Much more Fallout to come. So I'm deployed to a hotspot on Bavaria. My usual squads are medical, so I'm stuck in any N7 nearby. Salvaged Van Parts says uh, that shock game is very similar to the game played in Never Say Never Again. Also, love Zaid. I know Zaid's great. For a full list of quality products, please browse our catalog. Oh, yeah, this is furniture. Is there anything I want? Polished vanity, deluxe vanity, simple bedding, vibrant kitchen. Okay, how much would it cost me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. About fourteen thousand? Yeah, sure, why not? There we go. I mean, I've got half a million, so. All right, I cleaned them out. You have received a new message. Cat5 says, uh, check for one of two cutscenes next to the party thing. Next to where I buy party supplies? All right, I'll do that after I check my messages. If I can remember where they were. Private terminal, all work and no play. From Steve Cortez, Shepard, now that we've got a little downtime on the Citadel, I wanted to share something with you. I'm taking the shuttle down to the Silver Sun Strip. Meet me there. Go time from Ashley Williams. With all this stuff about pretenders, I figured there was one more thing we had to settle. Meet me at the casino bar. You scared? Combat sim from Jack. Shep, 
I he hear this Silver Sun Strip Place has a combat simulator, and I felt like kicking the crap out of something. Get your ass down here if you're game. Oh man, you're right, I do have to do the arena with Jack. Shore leave activities from Edie. Shepard, as part of my education, I think it would be appropriate if you and I participated in rituals found in all human cultures. Reply and we can meet at the new apartment. All right, rituals? Housewarming from Tally Zora. Shepard, next time we are on the Citadel, I'd love to come by. No rush, but it's nice to have a place there that you can call home. <clears throat> All right, let's call someone up. Who should we call up? Edie. Shepard. I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I, I guess we could. Did you have the place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and quote, live it up like a girly girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like You Jeff. don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Something practical or something you both like. Let's try that. Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. A car? Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want to rent them. <laughs> I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Yes. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Uh-oh. Whoa! Inappropriate! Um, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Almost as rare as you, we can say. That's a bit too flirty with, uh, you know, Joker's girlfriend. I'll take it, but one problem? What's the problem? All right, let's see what the problem is. That's thoughtful, lady. But we're not supposed to wear fancy jewelry with the uniform. Some soldiers put rings on the chain of their identification tags. Oh. I can do that. One condition, though. I'll give it back to you when we win. No, that seems inappropriate. It doesn't solely represent my hope. It's that of many different planets. It should stay with you. All right. I'll take that to heart. Thanks, Edie. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. Okay, we did some shopping with Edie. Uh, Chains the Punk says, just remember, the party is a point of no return for the DLC. All right, thank you, Chains the Punk. Who else are we inviting up? Tally. All right, let's invite Tally up. Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. Quite poetic. You remember that line from Fleet and Flotilla? Shall I and Bella kiss on the balcony? I don't think I've ever seen that, did. What? 
You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. Oh, no. We're geeking out. What shall I? We can never be together. I am my duty. And you have your people. Not tonight. Tonight, I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. Uh... This is making me a little uncomfortable. We've got romantic music. We're on the couch together watching a romance movie. And I've already told Tali quite emphatically that I'm not interested. So um, we can say, I love that you love this, <laughs> which is a very kind way of saying not my thing. Or we can say, this is ridiculous. Uh, let's not hurt her feelings. So you've watched this a lot, huh? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover. Kila, so many feelings. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> when this is done, I'll yeah. send you links to extranet sites with some captioned animations. Oh, God. I want you to see behind this mask. I want you to see who I truly am. I already am. She had an infection for three weeks after filming this scene. Totally worth it. <laughs> oh, so gross. But that's weird because, um, like, she uses that line in his apartment in front of him. And the very next line in the movie is that the character takes off her mask to become intimate with the Turian. <clears throat> but I wonder if that's what she was wanting to do with Shepard. Uh, Zach with an AK says, be sure to check around the apartment. Morden left something for you, but I'm not sure when it activates. Morden? Oh no, Morden. Okay. Yeah, let me do a quick run through and then we're going to go back out to the strip and, um, Find some more people to talk with. Let me see if I can find this thing from Morden. These are all Anderson biography notes, things we've already read. Let's see, any more messages? No more messages. Can't invite anyone else up, so we've exhausted what we can do on the terminal. Freddie Simmons says, don't forget to change into something more casual. Yeah, you're right. I'll go do that. More Anderson biography. Oh, the pull-up thing from last broadcast. That was brutal. Ethan H. says that's not until the party. Oh, okay. Uh, Salvaged Van Parts says, now that you have those credits, but there's a shotgun I think you would like called the Piranha. <clears throat> I think you would love it. The Piranha shotgun? Do I have that one already? All right, let's, where do I change my clothes? There are so many guest bedrooms in this apartment that I keep forgetting where Shepard sleeps. Did you meet Rex and Joker, says uh, Stefano. No, I haven't yet. Uh, I, I haven't had an opportunity. We're going to go back out there. Don't worry. All right, let's change into something a bit more casual. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> that's no. Yeah, that's a little more casual. Oh, that's really casual. And yeah. Oh, that's good. I like that. Let's go that. <clears throat> Leather jacket. Okay. Let's head back to the strip and see if we can find any more companions to talk to. Okay, we've got Jack, Ashley, and Lieutenant Cortez. Cortez should be right over here. Wait for Cortez. Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? 
Activating external cameras. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Whoa! That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Wanna really feel it? Go for it! Show me. Unadulterated momentum. <laughs> you see? It doesn't take much to pull a few G's. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. Maybe Joker we can say. <laughs> Ouch! Uh, no, me neither. You're, you're good, Cortez. We love you. I'm fortunate to have you, Steve. Anytime, Shepard. Dragonfan209 says Femshep gets a dress instead of a leather jacket. <clears throat> nice. Okay, so we've got uh, Ashley at the bar and Jack at the Armax Arsenal. All right, let's do the Armax Arsenal last. Let's go find Ashley at the bar. Which bar? Good luck and good evening. Upstairs. I tell you what, give me some tips, man. Seriously, I have the credits to fund a joint venture here. God damn it, would you leave me alone? What? Am I distracting you? Yes, you are distracting me. So you admit it. What can I say? Sure, I admit I find a Krogan scent alluring and your brow plate is terribly handsome. Buy you a drink? Right. Smart ass. <laughs> Ashley. I'm looking for a Lieutenant Williams. Thanks. There you are. Ready to see who's the real Spectre and who's the pretender? Let's do this! Whatever you say, Williams. Line them up. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Rules are simple. I take a shot, you take a shot. Hesitate, game over. Okay. This shouldn't take too long. We're getting blackout uh -huh. drunk with Ashley. Glamorous and beautiful superstar Spectre agent first. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry as pretender, next. I'll try and go easy on you so you don't break a nail, princess. Whoa! You did not just say that. Throw down that gauntlet. You sure did. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. I've seen how you deal with a few drinks, Williams. Very messy. <laughs> we did find her drunk on the floor of the Inn Normandy, didn't we? Ancient history. You know, I expected better. 
I'm saving my best moves for later. Best moves. At least if you're drunk, you have an excuse for how you dance. Oh! A burn on his dance moves. Below the belt. Boom! Keep it coming, Lieutenant. I can do this all night. <laughs> uh, you may have to. Is this over? I'm just warming up. Good. Me too. Ooh, and we keep going. Hey, my friend doesn't like alliance types. Buddy, we're right in the middle of something. I don't like alliance types either. Rain check? Yeah. Bar fight! <laughs> That's right, two specters in the house. Okay. Getting drunk with Ashley? Check. Going to the arena with Jack? Next. Yeah, that was a Star Wars reference, wasn't it? Everyone in the chat. Jack Rabbit says, Lamau, Star Wars. And Kit Cowling says, Star Wars. Yeah. That was uh, with Han Solo, right? In the bar? Okay. Jack. Silver token shop. Purchase supplies. Wait for Jack. Glad you can make it. I've got us set up. Good luck. Gotta say, Jack looks much better in Mass Effect 3. I mean, she looks great in Mass Effect 2, but she looks much better in Mass Effect 3. All right, uh, what do we got for Jack? Oh, we gotta spend her points. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's, let's expand out subject zero. Um, recharge speed of all powers by 40. Do it. Weapon damage by 20. Power force and duration by 30. Let's do weapon damage. Recharge speed of squ squad made biotics by 10. Yeah. Let's do that. Shockwave. Okay, let's get the others up before we do the final one. Duration by 50. Impact radius. Let's do duration. 20 damage per second. Let's do a dot. Warp. Damage by 30. Hmm. Damage by 40. Duration by 60. Gives us 17. Warp ammo. You know, I'm not using a lot of warp ammo. I've uh, fully specced into incendiary and cryo. So let's maximize. Actually, let's maximize shockwave. Recharge speed. <clears throat> yeah, let's do this one. Increases damage to barriers and armor or recharge speed. Let's do damage. Right. We can't afford that, so let's put it into warp ammo. I'm not going to use it, so there we go. 
Confirm. Ladies and gentlemen, it's combat night in the Armax Arsenal Arena. I was talking about you. so bad. At least we didn't have to grind in the arena to get that. What's this? Oh, that's the manual. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, everything, uh, all that's left is to purchase party supplies, so let's go back to the apartment, see if we've unlocked any more messages, and then we'll go purchase party supplies. It's the locker room. Please prepare for your that match is Barla Vaughn's team won? <laughs> wow. New messages. Oh man, come hang out from Jacob Taylor. Yay, we get to see Jacob. 
Shepard, so the Normandy is in dry dock? It seems like the perfect chance to hang out and find some trouble. Meet me outside the arcade on the main level, if your game. Official input required from CSEC Central HQ. Commander Shepard, your presence has been requested concerning an incident involving a Krogan identified as Grunt. Oh, no. Please report to the CSEC officer on patrol on the Silver Sun, uh, Sun Strip for additional details. Officer Johnson, CSEC Communications. <laughs> Bayada Ball Goodwill Games from Steve Cortez. Shepard, the Seattle Sorcerers. Whoa. Seattle. My hometown, mentioned in the Mass Effect universe, love it. The Seattle Sorcerers are taking on the Usaru Maestros in a Bayada Ball game. Should be epic. You recently acquired an apartment with a sweet vid screen. Coincidence? James and I don't think so. You provide the couch and we'll provide the refreshments. Just let us know. All right. We're going to watch some Seattle Sorcerers doing Bayada Ball. Memorial <laughs> service. From uh, Kolyat Krios, Commander, I was somewhat surprised to receive a calm call from the Council. They would like to hold what humans call a memorial service. Where, where it is held does not matter so much as who attends. <clears throat> I would like you to be there, as well as those people on the Normandy who knew my father. I understand at human services people speak well of the dead. It seems appropriate for you to conduct this part as the commander of the Normandy. To be honest, I am somewhat nervous. I might recall an inappropriate memory in front of everyone. Thank you. This would mean a great deal to me. Kolyat. Oh, yeah. We really should be there for that. Rain check from comm specialist trainer again. Thanks for sticking around to watch me go head to head with Tsuza. Sorry again for messing up our lunch plans. Love to get a rain check. Let me know whenever you're free and I'll come by. All right. <clears throat> Deathica says, if romanced, Jack, you kiss as it explodes in the BG. Oh, man. Such a missed opportunity. I mean, we did romance her in Mass Effect 3, but then I broke up with her. <laughs> so I could go back to Liara. Uh, bummer. Oh, well. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, we got to call people up. Invite specialist trainer. You sure you want to leave that here? <laughs> I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. This Does she not place have a is bunk? amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. Ooh. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers. The fan service DLC. I see what you mean. Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats. And public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach, too. And an inhaler for asthma. Oh, God, we're going through her entire health history here? Jeez. Serious, seriously, we could say, well, let's, let's show compassion. Are you okay? You have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? That's a sugar pill trainer, a placebo. Oh, that sneaky bastard. <laughs> and now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Really? This is what we are yeah. doing? Here you go. Jeez. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah? This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Found one! Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and, you know, girly stuff. <clears throat> do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. Sanders! <laughs> adjustable massage wands oh my gosh anderson we are learning too much about his personal life <laughs> this is she calls us over to get her some scented bath oils and a loofah and then when we come over she's like eyes up here buddy mm, what are you looking at golly right not even fair sean McElroy says i smell a mass effect replay coming renegade <laughs> oh no no i i went through it once and i enjoyed every moment of it i'm not gonna do it again 
Eyes up here, guy. How dare you look at me when I stripped into my bikini? All right, let's find, let's invite the next person up. All right, Korya. Yeah, we need to put Thane to rest. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Wow, everyone's there. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. Do we go full bore here? Clearly Thane died trying to redeem himself with regret for many of the things that he had done while he was an assassin. He also died with regret having not been there enough for his son. But he saved the universe in the second game. Helped us save the universe. Is that enough to redeem himself? Do you think his son thought that his father redeemed himself by that deed? Yeah, I think so. Though his life took him to very dark places. Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? Come on, Koi, lad. What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I'd label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. And that's coming from a justice. Thane took himself seriously. A trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... <laughs> Seth Green. <laughs> when I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, 
Thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. See, this is what I like about this game. It does a great job of balancing out the sweet and the sentimentality, the silly and the serious. We go from one moment in a silly little bathtub scene to this funeral, but both moments strike right. They strike true to the Mass Effect universe, and they don't feel out of place. They do such a great job here. MG says, well, that was awkward. Yeah, watching her take a, take a bath in the hot tub. How weird is that? She invites herself up to our apartment so that she can bathe in our hot tub while we just stand around the corner. <laughs> That's kind of <clears throat> insolent. Whisper Fire says, keep on the lookout for Jack's second visit. Oh, another visit from Jack? I'll take all the Jack I can get. The Raging Krogan says, you can hear the pain in Shepard's voice. The guilt. No, this, is, this was really well done. Well written. Well acted. The new guy, a, mem uh, a member for 20 months and a Silver Ox, says, uh, Hi Ox, be sure to spend time at the same bar you met Ashley to trigger Joker and Rex meeting events. Might need to do it multiple times to trigger it. So I just hang out at the bar? All right. I'll just get a bunch of shots. And then Freddie Simmons says, It might be a bit much to say that Thane helped save the universe in Mass Effect 2. The Collectors were only a threat to humans who lived in the Terminus systems. A stretch or not, the man's dead, and these people are here to remember him. We're going to remember him in the best way we can. But I hear your point. I hear your point. These are our two options. It doesn't feel good, or I did what I could. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valorn has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Goodbye, Koilat. Video from Thane? Kurt Nicholson says the grunt scene is the best. I die every time I see it. Oh man, I can't wait. Oh, Thane. Shepard, I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyat. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. 
I can only learn so much from news reports about you. Oh no, poor Thane. He was eager to get a message from Shepard. And yet we never got any of these. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shade of her eyes. Trill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital. But it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. <clears throat> well, I'm glad that we got to meet him at the Memorial Hospital before he passed. Right. That was rough. All right, it's uh, time for the sport event. Sorry we're late. Somebody forgot to pick up the cerveza. Come on in. <laughs> that somebody was you. Didn't say it was. So wins the game. It's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Gonna be some intense by Audible. Seattle! Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. In the middle of a war with their troops watching, they'll give it their all. Absolutely. Have you guys seen Derek Rogers' game lately? Man, he and the Sorcerers have been tearing it up. Esteban, the Maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassanis play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has more to do with how they look than how they play. <laughs> hey, that's not true. Not entirely. Besides, <laughs> you blame him. telling me you don't got the hots for some of the sorcerers? Okay, okay. Guilty as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? Hmm. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle Sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. I mean, they were on tour when Earth was hit. Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the Hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the Maestros have been playing since before First Contact. They'll win this. I know the Sorcerers have never beaten the Maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. So, Chef, who's it gonna be? Seattle all the way! You don't bet against the home team. Mr. Vega, I hope you're hungry for humble pie. <laughs> when has our commander ever been wrong? Come on, man, the game's started. <laughs> Poor Vega. <laughs> it's like everyone's against Man, uh, he was out. You're blind, ref. I want to see how the game is played. Show me some action of the game. Yes, they did it. Yay! Pay up. Seattle Sorcerers. Hey, why didn't you let me in on the betting? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. Oh. And everyone knows you don't bet against Shepard. Anyway, it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. All right. Back to the strip. We still got to purchase party supplies. But we got to talk. Uh, we got to save Grunt. He's in trouble at, with CSEC. And apparently we need to trigger a secret scene with Joker and Grunt. I'll do my best. Okay, so Jacob is at Castle Arcade. And uh, the CSEC officer is close. I have this perfect spot. Long sidebar. 
Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan? Right this way, Commander. Noodle House! So, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. <laughs> Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. Getting Grunt out of trouble. What did he do? What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. Yeah, just a normal day in the life of a Krogan. What's wrong with that? But you were in that hospital recovering from the Ragnai encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. And why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. <laughs> Tristan Fleet says, have you tried No Man's Sky? I played it when it first came out years ago, but I haven't played it recently, and I've heard that it's gotten a lot better. Before I sign you up, everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital's seen better days, though. <laughs> Right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. <laughs> it didn't work out. It's your birthday? No, I'm Tank Brett, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the nice! <laughs> yeah. CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. What? You torched Can't a car? Remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. Run! <laughs> the CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We check. didn't get very far before they shut us down. <laughs> Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> Didn't work so well on me. And why is that? <laughs> Shepard. Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Oh! How does it end? He goes to a noodle shop. Of course. Of course Grunt goes to a noodle shop while on fire after breaking a window and torching a C-Sec car. Jeez. Uh, well, that was quite some birthday party. <laughs> Do we have a make amends? No, no, no. Let's fabricate a story. Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre task force. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. <laughs> Operation Fire Cobra Claw. <laughs> That's right. I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, Officer. Fire Cobra Claw! <laughs> so, how were those noodles? A little spicy. I love you, Grunt. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't love Grunt? After all that, he gets, he catches on fire and, and the noodles were spicy. <laughs> James Eckenrod says, hey Ox, have you thought about playing The Last of Us? Who doesn't love post-apocalyptic and plant zombies, lol? I know I'd love to, but it's not on the PC yet. When it comes to the PC, I'm there. All right, uh, <clears throat> we need to go get Jacob at the Castle Arcade. Yep. Fire Cobra Claw. Yes, special Spectre weird, Operation. That night was very special. Ooh, I think we just missed a pretty awkward conversation. I 
I'm going the right way, right? Yeah. Castle Arcade. Hey, Shepard, over here. Hey, Jacob. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R&R. &R. You? Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Let's do it. Great. Oh no, not this. <laughs> oh god. This is your game of skill. Now Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Oh. Uh... Really? Trash talk? That shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. Oh, no. You're gonna take me down? I don't think so. <laughs> well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. Oh! You're on. Them some fighting no words. No pressure, Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. Oh, man. You're crowding me. Am I? My bad. <laughs> Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Oh, Jacob. I like this Ready? side of Jacob. Let's do this. But I'm bad at this game. Oh, he's going to trounce me. Oh, no. Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Oh, I don't have to do anything. Yes. Oh, I do. Oh, you got it. Check it out, Shepard. Feel that? Feeling of doom. Never mind. I got this. All you got? Come on, come on, come on! Boom! Killed it! Ah! Seriously. Yeah! Jacob wins! Not my day. Congrats, Jacob. Ah, you probably let me win. Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. I told you, I'm not good at that. Yeah, but you know me by now. When it comes to blocking and parrying and, and melee games, I'm I'm horrible. All right. Well, we got Jacobs done. That was fun. Let's see. Let's go to the bar see if we can trigger that um, Joker scene. Uh, that's around back. Chad is upset with me. How did I lose to Jacob? The <laughs> guys, come on, he's he's Jacob. He's good. Ooh. Okay, let's wait. What are we waiting for? Wait for Joker. I was here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the council, but I had my own problems to deal with. Joker. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Oh, no. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Commander Shepard is chasing the council! This is our chance! Yes! Oh, Set shit! Train. Cerberus! Haha! <laughs> it's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> 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 of course. Like this. Oh. It's joking time. Oh, we were fools to underestimate Joker. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> I can see Seth Green in front of the microphone. That's just... pretty much how it happened. Which is why you should comp my drinks. No. Aww. Oh, come on. I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, Shepard! Hi! I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Moreau is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives, myself included. I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Ah. Uh, thanks, Commander. Hey! Good story, Joker. You Joker. can pay me back later. Oh. I wonder what would have happened had we said that's not what happened. Would we have come up with an even more ridiculous story? All right, what about Rex? Is he gonna come by? What can I get for you? All right, we can purchase party supplies. I don't see an option to wait for Rex, so <laughs> let's go back. Kit Cowling says the island of Dr. Me, what? I think that's a reference to the island of Dr. Moreau. Joker, Welcome right? It didn't help that we had some brutal side objectives, but even then, we had to disable these Reaper indoctrination devices, and this crazy ex Cerberus Vanguard guy insists on doing it. He's running all over the place getting killed, and I'm yelling at him, let me do it, I can cloak. <sighs> Infiltrator good for devices, or engineer with drone or decoy, or me, because we don't die. Yes, thank you. Stefano says, Ox, you have to exit and come back. All right, well, we'll check the terminal and then come back. You have received a new message. And we'll get more messages. Okay. Pencil me in. From Miranda Lawson, Shepard, care for a night out? Let's get dressed up and meet in the casino. I'll be the one in red. Oh, Miranda in red. How are you from Samara, Shepard? I overheard yet another news report about you today, and I thought I'd write to see how you're doing. I'm currently on the Citadel, so if there's any way that I can be of assistance to you, please do not hesitate to call. Just like old times from Jack, hey! Had fun kicking some holographic ass with you. Good to see you haven't lost it without me around to keep you in line. I got a bit more leave, so let me know if you're around and want to kill some time. Okay. Well, before we change into our fancy duds for Miranda, let's uh, call our friends on up. Let's start with Samara. I came as quickly as I could. What's wrong? I didn't mean to worry you. When I saw you were on the Citadel, I wanted to see you again. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Oh. Are we going to stand on formalities? <laughs> These big picture windows remind me of our talks in the Normandy's observation lounge. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars. But I can see where it might make one sentimental. I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard. Very much. Let's talk about you or do something fun. Let's do something fun. What should we do to take our minds off things for a couple of hours? Let's watch people. Justicars must have keen powers of perception. Testing them can be fun. Really? Yes. For example, the Turian there. The one limping. What do you suppose his story is? People watching. 
Injured in military service, probably. Except he doesn't wear it like a badge of honor. He seems ashamed. Whatever happened, I would guess he's an outcast. What about the two Volus? The ones whispering? What's in the case? They're related. Brothers, but also business partners. The one on the left is a drunk and has put the family fortune in jeopardy through risky business dealings. But now the Blue Sons have kidnapped his wife. His brother has brought the ransom. 2.3 million credits. Whoa! You can see all that? No, I made it up. Ah. You see? Fun. Okay. The Alcor with the umbrella. Go. Too easy, Shepard. What about me, then? Too difficult. I think that you are remarkable, Shepard. When the Vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? What do you feel? Honestly, if people feel that I'm making a difference, that bolsters me, my team, and our efforts. What now? I am content as we are, Shepard. Let us sit a while longer, even if there is nothing to say. What? All right, well, there's Samara. <laughs> that was a little weird. Didn't quite um, hit as sentimental as I think they were intending. Maybe I should have chosen the other option. All right, now for the fun one. Oh, yeah. Let's invite Jack to the apartment. So what? A private cabin on a stealth warship isn't enough for you? <laughs> I'm watching the place for a friend. What are you doing? Calling Izo. Izo? Izo? Ah! <laughs> Yeah, he's from Thessia. Naturally biotic from all the element zero. The biotics make them short-tempered, so a lot of them get abused or abandoned. Can you imagine someone doing that? I found him at a rescue place. God. I'm trying to teach him that it's okay to trust people. He started out really angry, but I've been giving him lots of love, and now he's a big old softy. Oh, yeah. This big old soft. What? <laughs> he seems like a good pet. Yeah. Who's my badass biotic? Mm. Who's my badass biotic? <laughs> oh, that's it. All right, that was that was cute. That was cute. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Poor Shepard in the background, defending off this Varen with a frying pan. That's it. All right, we got to get in our fancy duds to meet Miranda. gonna be in a red dress after all okay let's see there we go She's still there, says Jack. Is she? Did I miss her? What, does she hang out in the apartment? I don't see her. All right, let's keep going. All right, Miranda was at the casino, right? Yeah. Seven. Silver casino. Later, that same ex server's vanguard picks up a backpack.
Whisperfire says, did you find that suspicious device in the casino? No funny business. Not yet. The Raging Krogan says, Kasumi is at the casino. Trigger a secret button. Secret button? All right, well, let's do Miranda's first. There she is. Fan service. There we go. Nice. Miranda? You clean up well, Shepard. Thought we might try an evening out. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. You picked a good spot to unwind. Any ideas? A few. I'll probably need a bit of a push. A push? I was thinking about our talk earlier. About having a normal life. Oh. Damn. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? Look around you. It's a room full of great ideas. Here? It's nothing but alcohol, gambling, and wasting time. What's that look, Shepard? <laughs> right. Need more wine. Bring the lady more wine. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret this. We're just friends out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Fade to black. Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. <laughs> That's it! That's it! <laughs> Come on! They leave out the best part. The trouble, that's what I came for. Okay, uh, so we got a secret button here, huh? So Kasumi has a secret button. Um. Where would it be? Maybe in this back room? That's not a back room. Good luck and good evening. Upstairs. Let's check upstairs in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Brandon Dunn says the secret button is on the ground floor next to Quasar. Oh, thank you. Uh, if I can get there. Ah, Wait, wait, this just leads out. Ah! Oh, I was on the ground good luck floor. And good evening. End of the downstairs by the bar. Why am I so bad at this? There's Quasar. Oh! Please do not touch the waterfall. That's not a waterfall. The fountain is decorative. Do not touch. Please keep your hands out of the water. 
There's no water here. Oh, what's that? Suspicious device. Fennec, hit the calm. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Urch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Verk, steal a uniform. You go in as security, fake the arrest. <laughs> Oops, I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi. <sighs> Take a walk, guys. <laughs> I can explain. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Are you hard up for credits, or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. And it's not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper-held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I... By the way, are you gonna call security? It's the end of the world. Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. All Excuse right. me. Is there a problem? No. No problem at all. And there was Kasumi. Right. Let's go upstairs and find Rex. Since we cured the genophage, it's been nothing but work. Council been riding you? Bah! Not those hijack shit slingers. No, it's the. It's the female shepherd. Now that they're fertile again. Oh, I haven't slept in. I don't know how long. He's doing his duty. Can I get you two anything? Two more drinks. <laughs> And another bag of ice. I would have thought you'd be enjoying the perks of Krogan fertility. Enjoying it? There's a line of females outside my dwelling right now. It stretches on for as far as you can see. I had to sneak out my own bathroom window. Even then, I was cornered by two more females on the ride from Tuchonka. And it's just you? They're not spreading the love around? Sure, but everyone wants their firstborn in generations to be strong and fit. I'm the leader of Clan Erdna. I brought an end to the genophage. Everyone on Tuchanka wants a piece of me. <laughs> and Bakar is no help at all. She encourages it. I'm telling you, Shepard, I'm in no shape to fight Reapers. <laughs> How many times has he uh, hit his head on the counter there? Like four times? Could be worse, buddy. I mean... I can sympathize, but really? Count your blessings. Considering everything we've been through, I can think of worse positions to be in. Trust me, I've been in every position in the past few days. Oh, <laughs> come on, Rex. Here are your drinks and a bag of ice. Let me guess, that doesn't go on his head. I thought more 
Burton's procedure was painful. Oh well. <laughs> Shit, Shepard. We sure have been through it, haven't we? Still going through it. <laughs> True. Well, here's to us. And then going through it. I'll drink to that. Parmal! That means victory or death, roughly. Ah, but you can't die, Rex. You've got a family now. A really big family. Ah, more ice! <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we didn't miss that. <laughs> Poor Rex. <laughs> Well, uh, I say that's about time to purchase party supplies, huh? Dragonfan209 says everyone forgets the downsides of having a harem. To be fair, few, few people on this earth experience the downsides of having a harem. Few books written on the downsides of having a harem. Uh, Rockland F <laughs> with a sticker tip. Thank you very much, Rockland. Right, <clears throat> let's purchase those party supplies. Now, chat said to do a save. I'm gonna do a hard save before purchasing the party supplies. All right, party supplies purchased. Let's go start a party. Live Baron Ray starts in five minutes. Place your bets. Kurt Nicholson says, I love how you can hear the ice every time he moves, yeah. Where he hit it? Only God knows. No funny business. One second, folks. Sorry, sorry, one second. I got a text. There we go. All right, I'm back. Right. Whisperfire says that Rex scene is even more funnier if Shepard is female. It's also even more awkward, too. <laughs> I bet. Can only imagine. Freddie Simmons says back to casual clothes so Shepard doesn't look like a stiff in the screenshots. All right, all right, Freddie. Back to casual clothes. <clears throat> Don't worry, I'm not going to walk around a party in a tuxedo. There we go. Casual. Okay, time to send invitations. Let's make sure we don't have any more messages. No more messages. No more people to invite up. So well, let's do a hard save here too, just to give ourselves more options and let's send up the invitations.
All right, so we only have these six invited. Let's invite them all. Invite all available guests to the party. Yes. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Oh, God. <clears throat> quiet conversation? That's not a party. Let's do energetic. I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Hmm. Happy to be here, Shepard. Why is she turn invisible inside the party? All right, hang out with guests. Okay, that did it. Journal updated, Citadel Party. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, but I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. Golly, I hope they had t-shirts printed. I ran with a simple cat. Mm. All right, let's hang out with guests. I'm going to remember hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? <laughs> Ask me after five more of these. I'll drink to that. Am I gonna find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my abuelas huevos rancheros. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit. Even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to us. And a chance to rest. All right. Hanging out is done. Let's talk to James here. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed. But fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? No. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, we have hung out with this group. Fun guys. What's going on over here? I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. So, Shepard, you can serve this swill, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? There's an idea. Whoa! Wait, what? Who? <laughs> Trina, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up the <laughs> servers and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> Von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Here, here. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. Aww. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this, as friends. Of course, if you wanted to steal me away later, I wouldn't say no. Ooh, she's feeling feisty. Hi, 
I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. <laughs> also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. Oh. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. Brandy, I'm betting. Well, we are hearing some laughs in here, so someone's having a good time. Let's see if we can find more people to talk to. I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there a button needs pushing, but Shepard always haunts that part. Why? Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. Working with Shepard reminded me of my younger days, running with mercenaries, blowing things up with mercenaries, and occasionally sleeping with mercenaries. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope he took a shower, because my filter needs replacing, and humans carry a lot of germs. <laughs> and three years later, here you are, drinking his alcohol through a straw. I call that progress. Something to look forward to, then. No one back here? They all must be upstairs. <laughs> Pardon me. What happens if we talk to Glyph? You know oh, why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. Well, that reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. <laughs> Joker. <laughs> you know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Whoa! Excuse me. <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything, and we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey. Not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh! Oh, crap. <laughs> Kurt Nicholson says, Kasumi is invisible. Try to find her. All right. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. <laughs> Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. Typical ED. So Kasumi is invisible and I need to find her. Okay. Protein gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. 
get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. Not what I've been getting to. What? Because I've got two hands, dumbass. So who is strongest? You or the tank braid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Drax. Ooh. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. <laughs> it is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pajak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The That's only thing he could defeat about. is a glass of warm milk. Ha! Ah, I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. Oh. You boys done talking. Yeah. Only one way to settle this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now the party started. Rogan. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting yeah, yeah. good. You yeah, you got lucky. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. They hit harder than you think. Too many things to break in here. <laughs> Could be a fun what party. Are you crazy? What kind of music is this? That's not Danger that club crap, is it? All right. In my cycle, too many people in one room risk the high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? Wow, this guy's just a barrel of laughs. Beware, something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Mm. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. So he can tell that Kasumi is close. Sumi. Where or oh, where would Kasumi be? That's it for upstairs. She's got to be downstairs. Well, why is she hanging out in the dark recesses of the apartment instead of mingling with uh, everybody else? I must admit, I still feel like something of an outsider. You all have such a history with Shepard. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting. Well, we and already overheard that conversation. Kasumi? Kasumi? Hmm. Good time. But you have no plans after eating? Someone more human? After uh, Edie? No. She's smart, she's funny, and she's into spaceships. You know what you want. I can respect that. Miranda, that was a awkward thing to say. Wow, this is quite the apartment. Seriously, you see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. Kurt Nicholson says, Tip, try the downstairs bedroom closet. No, 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 keep doing it! All right. Downstairs bedroom closet. Hmm. Nothing. Well, I think we've exhausted all party dialogue. Commander? 
Uh, I think we need to talk to Glyph. So, where'd you propose? I haven't yet. Seriously? I want to do it right. Not on some backwater rock planet with some ring pumped out of a fabricator. My plan is, Shepard gets me and Brynn into the council chamber. We do a picnic under the cherry blossoms. What's there? Then comes the question. Ooh, romantic. I like that side of Jacob. A hundred Volger. Sure. Better if I could shoot some kind of death ray out of my bad eye here. Yeah, that would be awesome. Okay, I guess we need to talk to Glyph. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Yeah, let's get louder. Party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. All right, hang out with guests. I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. <laughs> Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> <laughs> no. You should maybe let me decide that. Huh? Okay, but I'm telling you it's ugly out there. It can't be that bad. Hello? Brunt, keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No. <laughs> yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. Hey, Shepard, thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. I've had lots to drink. And look at me, still standing. <laughs> Ever seen a Krogan drink so much they get sick on your floor? I'm here to make sure that dream comes true. Wouldn't want anything less, Grunt. I could stop bullets with my mind. Mind bullets. You guys, I love you guys. No, no, listen, okay? No, no really. Okay. All right, they've moved on from there. Let's see if we can find Kasumi in the closet. Is that where she is? No. Oh. All right, we'll be back. Hi, sweetheart. We never really talked about it, but you and me have a lot in common. Did he call her we sweetheart? Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well, and we're both good looking. Ha 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 ha! Oh! Zayid trying to put the moves on Samara! Hello, Shepard. Zayid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> what do you think, Samara? <laughs> hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the... <laughs> actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait. And the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. <laughs> you are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. It's not that complicated, Samara. <laughs> it's not, not, not that complicated, though. He did have uh, some interesting things to say about art. So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. Is that a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. 
you're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Ooh. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. <laughs> oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. <laughs> you might break a nail. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm capable oh, of. Oh my god, these You're two. A spoiled rich girl oh. <laughs> Victim. Test tube clone princess. <laughs> I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Whoa! Hey, cheerleader, my hair and I have been fighting fruits and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Support conflict or support friendship? Oh no. Oh God, why? Why do I gotta do <laughs> this? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna support conflict. <laughs> Let's do it. Jack, Miranda's still weak from fighting Kai Lang. It wouldn't be fair for you to fight her right now. That's ridiculous. Don't worry, I won't hurt anything but her pride. And maybe her ass. And Miranda. I know you've got tech attacks that could take Jack down in seconds, but I'm trusting you to be better than that. Oh, really? Oh! Really? The truth hurts. Need some time alone with your feelings. Your ass is gonna need some time alone with its feelings. I don't get that. But I'm going somewhere dead. Not helping, Kasumi. <laughs> it must be hard being a baron stuck in a boy's body. Ouch! Gene freaks, cheerleader. Oh! Child. Okay. Nice talk. <laughs> Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. Well, that was fun. Kasumi keeps appearing, but where does she go? I'm gonna hit you so hard your ears pop. Ooh, someone's cranky. You must be tired from all the adults talking. You're gonna be drinking through a straw, which is good. Your ass is getting too big. Wow. Yes, that happens when a woman reaches puberty. <laughs> oh, nice one. <laughs> what is it with Jack's preoccupation with Miranda's ass? She's talked about Miranda's ass like five times in that conversation. Yikes. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war? Life-bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tariq. Garden world, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tariq and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes' lungs. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Hey guys, Dr. Chop. No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back <laughs> and make him do target practice. A man emergency! Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Hmm. I don't think he needs to be manned up at all. Joker's body count is plenty high. You don't need to take him anywhere. 
This is not about me knocking Joker. This is about being prepared for the worst. Man, I didn't hear of any gunplay when Rex grabbed your shuttle on Sir Cash. If there had been, I'd have killed our best shot at an alliance with the Krogan. You mean you would have wounded it? Ah. Then maybe we should drink. To brains as well as guns. Done. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. Oh yeah. We'll see. Gotta get some Shepard Shuffle in. Freddie Simmons says, you should have supported friendship. It's a lot funnier. Well, I can't predict the future. Maybe in my second playthrough. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Maybe. What are you trying to say, James? I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form <laughs> that you see before you. James. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I'll have you know that my physical conditioning is top rate. Mm. I mean it. Check me out. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can tell just by looking. Come on in closer. Oh. Don't be shy. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't be shy. <laughs> Ashley and James? Okay. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, Loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. I don't think the Reapers would either. A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. He's joking, right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Vega. Come on, Ashley. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the wow. better. Wow. Calm down, <laughs> James. <laughs> Just hush and do some sit up. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, goddess. Support biotics or support physical? No, I'm not, I'm not going against Liara here. <laughs> I'm on her side tonight. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win, hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Ashley, you couldn't back me up? Not without closer inspection. Yeah? Huh. I think I can make that happen. Hello. Okay, then. Okay. More <laughs> drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. Poor Liara is so awkward right now. Specialist trainer, may I ask you a question? You can ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh no. Uh -huh. I find somewhere else to be? No! No, no, I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, no. Could you? <laughs> I don't understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. <laughs> oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. <laughs> she does. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? <laughs> Told you. Tolly, please stop helping. What's wrong, you dude? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. <laughs> I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and I didn't know you were an AI. <laughs> 
there's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't <laughs> find the place. Is it sage or basil? Poor Tali. Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retro fits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herb <laughs> dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Erogenous oh, zones. Good Lord. Of course. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kira, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in certain sheets. <laughs> oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. Oh my god. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. <laughs> oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program so I don't die. Poor Tolly. <laughs> She's so uncomfortable. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> oh, and we can't come in on either side here. Wow. <laughs> All right, then. All right, check the bedrooms. See if we can find Kasumi. How many oh. bedrooms does this place have? A lot. You want me to check each one? What were you doing splayed out on the bed there, Kasumi? Gosh. Well, that was mortifying. Tell me about it. You need not be embarrassed. Sexual attraction is natural for organics. And given your orientation and interest in synthetics. We can, we can stop talking about this whenever you like. I practically poisoned myself with cheese trying to change the subject. If you are interested, I have a list of extranet sites involving romantic relationships between organics and synthetics. No, 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 no. No, you can't even... <laughs> no! Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> my way. Oh. <laughs> She's like, all right. Send me your bookmarks of uh, porn, please. I'll, I'll take that <laughs> over this conversation if it ends the conversation. Yikes. All right, uh, let's move on. I'm pissed, but I'm not going to let it ruin the party. Or should I say we are not? Right, Williams? Whoa, leave me out of this, hombre. More drinks, yes? Jacob. Yeah. Oh, don't give me that look. What look? That I wanted to watch Joker break his hands off at the shooting range look. It's not cool to mess with people because they've got limitations, you know? Next, you'll be going on about how the strong aren't supposed to eat the weak. Uh, speaking as the weak, yes. <laughs> but everybody's weaker than me. What am I supposed to do for lunch? Three words. Thresher, maw, jerky. See where this is going. You're fun to hate. You too. All right, that was nice. This is a thing, beautiful. I've had a few drinks. You've had a few drinks. I haven't. Right. Still, what do you say that we sit by that fireplace and snuggle? You've never struck me as the snuggling type. Even a ruthless killer's got to have a soft side. And I can see from here you definitely have a soft side. Whoa! <laughs> Come on. No. Well, that's clear enough. Zaid just wants to snuggle. Poor Zaid. <laughs> Kasumi? Kasumi? Right, I guess we go to... Occupied. Kas 
Listen to me, what are you doing? Where is she? Just keeps popping up. You again? I thought you were dead. You can't come in. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Dance! Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. Loving the bow tie. Jeff. Yes, E.D. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's going to take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, E.D. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Whoa. OK, that's cheating. Blackmail. <laughs> so we won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. Yes, I will. <laughs> oh, 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 he stands up. <laughs> we broke him. He's broken. Joker. <laughs> I think we broke him. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, don't go there. Oh! Well, then maybe you should dance with it. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Oh, I'm supporting dancing. Come on. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Oh, fine. All right. There we go. A little bit of dancing never hurt ya. He's got the same shepherd shuffle. Nice. You two have fun dancing. It's a human custom. Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one-legged varn. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. Trevor! So here's where the party's at. Okay, that Goddamn right. Come to hang out with the popular kids, Shepard. Easier to talk back here. What do you think of the music? Great? Bad? What? Not as good as in your cycle, eh, Javik? Am I right? Not even remotely. Knew it. Oh, maybe we can leg wrestle later. Perfect end to a perfect evening. Sure, absolutely. Leg wrestle? I'll look for you later then, baby. I got up this. Well, thanks for that, detail, Rex. All right, where's the bulk of the party? Here they are. Look at him go. Oh, and Jack's on the table. Oh, yeah. You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected. And fun. <laughs> I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. Here we go. Hell yeah. Shepherd shuffle. Uh, go for it. Come on, Shepherd. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Captain on deck. Has he always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy. You have to forgive a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. Fall in love! <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. 
Thank you all for your loyalty and support. <laughs> yes! Couldn't get through a party without a shepherd shuffle. Taking a wild guess here, Shepard. But whatever you're serving is starting to kick in. Has Leon always been so blue? Hey, hey, she's my girl. And yes, she has always been blue. Where is she? Speaking of which, where is she? Maybe Kasumi's back here. And the fox of the group fetching is finally answered. There she is. Found her. Oh, hey, Jeff. You're going through my drawers? I go through everyone's drawers. Can't you just mingle and have fun like a normal person? Why would I want to do that? By the way, you have excellent taste in underwear. Glad you could make it, Sandy. Thanks. I'm having a really good time. By your very strange standards. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's just creepy. That's just creepy. Well, at least they're clean. Of course they're clean. What do you think? Really? You have them all memorized? 67. Holmium. Very reactive. Very magnetic. Victorian parties almost never end with someone reciting the elements. 68. Erbium. Atomic weight, 167 and change. Nice. My turn. 69. <laughs> In your dreams. Oh, what? Jack. I don't get it. <laughs> I'll explain it later. <laughs> it's Thulium, in case anyone cared. Turians have trace amounts in our skin. Protects us from solar radiation. Nerd! <sighs> oh dear. Of course, <clears throat> Jack with a 69 joke. What are these guys Good doing? Not. Could you? You've seen biotics in action. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could, but do you have the cojones to actually do it? Oh! Any of you. <laughs> what a guy. Buckle up, brother. James, seriously? Heather Bushek says, thank you for another great live stream. Thank you, Ox. Hope you're having a great day. Thank you, Heather, for coming by. Hope you'll stick around. Hope you have a great day. <laughs> Here we go! Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I can feel that way on a whim. Ooh. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. Did he just look down? Looks good on you. Oh my god. I'm glad you lost that bet, James. When's my turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. She's drunk. Where'd James go? Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Hey, Shepard. Hmm. 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 Can't talk to Liara? Just wait. Look. <laughs> oh, I'm licking. Believe me. <laughs> Look, I think you're beautiful and kick ass with an emphasis on the ass. Thanks, that's sweet. I think you're kind of sweet. Your lips are amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I think your kiss kick ass, emphasis on the ass, and her response is thanks, that's sweet. Oh, God. Shall we interrupt this? 
Hey, you two. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. Really? No, Shepard, we're fine. <laughs> Lieutenant, did you just giggle? <laughs> I did not just giggle. I'm just, you know, I... <clears throat> Shepard, uh, can we help you with anything? Should we support the coolant or the hookup? I mean, it's a party. We're gonna support the hookup. Looks like you guys are having fun. Sorry to interrupt. I should probably go check on Glenn for something. See you later, Shepard. Right. Grunt! <laughs> no! Grunt, are you okay? Grunt, you okay? What? Yeah. I got five credits. Excellent. Go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Damn your lettuce. <laughs> oh, he's snoring. Sharks. sharks. Screaming about sharks and lettuce. What's that, Grunt? Fish dog food shack, what? Shark, uh, every time. Every time. I, uh, I found this blue rock for me, alright? Oh, <laughs> calm down there, Grant. I think that's it, he's asleep. He is down. Down for the count. Wait, are you back? He's back! Space Cowboy. Me. <laughs> I'm a pretty bird. Pretty bird. Are you talking to me? Yes, I am. You must be talking to me. Are these all movie quotes? C four pay up. I'm sad Hanar can't wear sweater. Yeah, that makes me sad too. That's it. Same grumble. Yep. Ashley, tu con tantas curvas, yo sin frenos. What was that? Say that again. Ashley, tu con tantas curvas, yo sin frenos. What did that mean? Your contours or something? I don't know. I'm surprised I didn't find anyone in the hot tub. Tu con tantas curvas y yo sin frenos. <laughs> it feels so good to let loose, doesn't it? Gotta work it out somehow. It does. I'm usually pretty crap at this. This and baking. I can't figure it out. I know what you mean. Yeah, baking is tricky. This was nice, you know. Serialized. Don't get much of that. 
If we are not completely annihilated by Reapers, and the galaxy is not decimated for thousands of years, then we should do this again. Always looking on the light side of it, Javik. Hello, Commander. And that's it for the dancers. Dancing is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. All right, <clears throat> talk to Glyph to take a group photo. Oh, wait, no. Having fun? Glyph is over there. Shepard. Let's ta let's take a group photo. Hey, Edie, check this out. Oh, fingers. Very impressive. Your central nervous system is well coordinated, given your inebriation. Looks like you're not the only dancing machine at this party. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Edie. That was a very bad joke. I love you too, Edie. Oh, that was sweet. Good photo. Yeah, yeah. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! That's a good shot. And the lovers are looking at each other. I guess that was it. What a party. Mm. Oh, what a night. But look who's here. Is it morning already? Uh, good morning. I love watching you wake up. Let's see if anyone else is up. Okay, the next morning. Let's see what happened. War Acid acquired Team Spirit. Looks like there's a data pad here. Shepard, hope you're well. New mission on Tuchanka could end things. <sighs> Made preparations. Asked friends in STG to leave this with you next time you were off duty. Some of my older work. Performances, stories, merely entertainment. But entertainment useful at times. Good luck. In prophase, you see chromatins condense to chromosomes. In metaphase, their centromeres align to make new homes. In anaphase, they separate, then telophase arrives. And when cytokinesis comes, two cells lead separate lives. Hello, Perry the Pajak. Happy to be here. Science fun today, very respected. Education of youth vital for future. Now, children, science key to advancement, but can seem esoteric, indirect. Practical demonstration helps. Release the Varen. Native to Tuchanka. Dangerous predator, but can be incapacitated with common household chemicals. Observe. Wait, please move Perry the Pijack away from Baron. Puppets similar to prey could trigger attack instinct. Ah. Problematic. Suggest going limp. Struggling counterproductive. Sedative should stop it. Or not. Ah. Not attacking. Mating instinct, of course. Of course. See, children, key to science is testing hypotheses, <laughs> making observations. Next hypothesis, attempt neural shock. <laughs> ah, neural shock, clearly effective. Harry the Pie Jack, also clearly made of flammable material. <laughs> Any questions? Morden! Glycine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, alanine. They all are aliphatic, so you will not see a ring. The lone human amino acid with one is proline. From protein we are formed. <laughs> nice. With two hydroxyl groups, you'll find serine and threonine. For sulfur, look to cysteine or to methionine. For bases, you have arginine, lysine, and histidine. From protein, we are formed. Now the aromatics! 
Tryptophan and tyrosine and phenylalanine. Aspartic and glutamic are both acids as we've seen. Or am I see asparagine and also glutamine from protein we are formed. They gotta use that to teach in schools. Omega. Sky was color of fit cam tuned to a dead Vorcha. Business so bad that if Volus would have sold my suit. Then trouble Doppler shifted deep a sorry blue as it came through my door. <laughs> like we held for a father. High gravity adapted in all right places. Wow, Morden. Sorry said Krogan thug after her business. If could get rid of him, said she'd be grateful for all eternity. Found Krogan in slums. First shot hit primary heart. But Krogan have redundant nervous system. Felt redundant nervous myself. <laughs> Krogan got me in stranglehold. Used incineration attack. Got lucky. Said this was an easy job, he gasped. Guess we'd both been burned. A sorry, very grateful. Could read her like open book. And as it happened, did enjoy reading in bed. Oh! Woke up looking at barrel of pearl handled Carnifex. My M98 in another room. Another black widow standing over me. Only loose ends left, she said. Her mistake. Didn't know I'd been in STG. Learned tricks dirty enough to clog a quarry and soup filter. <laughs> your barrier is very similar to your morals, I said, and threw my biotic grenade. Warped. When woke up from explosion, Asari had fled back to afterlife. Felt lucky not to be in afterlife myself. Hadn't been paid, but considered self-fortunate. Had broken Omega's one rule in more ways than one. Is that his own personal, like, noir novel? <laughs> Uh, Doctor's Dino says, "Curse you, Perry the Pie Jack," and Zach with an AK says, "The last one always makes me tear up." Bye, Morden. I oh, know. Goodbye, Morden. Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe I should just stop saying that word. But only if Liara stops saying. By the goddess. <laughs> Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Miranda takes forever to do her hair. You'd think with her jeans, she wouldn't need to. Ooh. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. The apartment seems so quiet now. The apartment seems so quiet now. Shepard, good morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. It was good to see everyone again. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. I am going to die. <laughs> I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. If the filters removed toxins, how is she drunk? Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. Ugh. <laughs> Well, no more grunt. Chad is saying I missed something in the bathroom. Whoa! Oh, easy time to move the galaxy. Kneel before Javik. 
I had a dream. Fifty thousand years had passed. It was horrible. I was alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled the galaxy. Solarians, Turians, the Asari. I was one. The Ara. In those eyes and voice. She was blue. No, no, it was just a dream. Oh, I smell primitives. Oh, it was no dream. Poor Javik. His nightmare has become reality. Morning, Chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. I didn't know you could get real milk on the Citadel. I had some. Thought it was soy. I'm not really lactose intolerant. I just don't put up with lactose and stupid drama. In case I don't see you again, thanks. That was a lot of fun. I should go. Stupid dairy products. Hey. Hey. Dragon fan says, in Mass Effect 1, would you have believed us if we told you a Prothean would be hungover in your bathroom floor? I probably wouldn't. I mean, that's just a bit far-fetched, even for me. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh. Oh, Joker. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just, just think quiet thoughts. Ugh. Still fun, though. Commander. <laughs> Commander. Hey, making breakfast. Well, Ashley, James, how was your night? Shepard, morning. I need a floor to curl up on. Oh, not, not so loud. Hey, hey. Okay, who wants eggs? Liar, eggs? Trainer, Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Ash, come on, I promised you eggs. <laughs> Rex, buddy, eggs. Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda. He's, he's been talking about his eggs the entire game, hasn't he? Like, you gotta try my mama's huevos or whatever. Shepard? Eggs? Oh, yeah. Shepard? I'm always down for eggs. Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. I see everyone survived the festivities, more or less. Mmm, good tea. We should get some for Liara. Mmm. I think I broke my head on something last night. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. <laughs> Shepard. Shepard. Trainer! So, last night, I didn't do anything, did I? <laughs> I think everybody did something. I'm checking extranet sites. No hits yet. So, maybe I just imagined that last part. <laughs> Is she checking out the porn list that she was given? I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. I should probably talk to Edie. Or alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. Yeah, that was a bit awkward. It's not my fault. I was overserved. Hey. <clears throat> Ethan H says, a heads up, last moment of the party is at the car before going back to the Normandy. Context for sentimentality. This was the last episode saw of this cast since this was the last thing released for fans of the trilogy. Thank you, Ethan.
Hey. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? Well, not everyone hel holds their booze the same way. 1085. 1086. <laughs> 2087. Shepard. All right, Jack. Doing pull-ups. Can you beat my record? Hey, you look like shit. No, oh, I wouldn't expect anything less from you. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Nice. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. I bet she's done a lot of that in her life. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. All right, is that it? Now we got Saeed. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? Shepard? Oh, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. <laughs> what a night. We should never end it. Yep. Thanks, Shepard. Well, now we gotta go save the, the universe. Edie! Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. I'm hoping that was a joke, Edie. That was a joke. Thank you. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. All right, the party is over. The songs have been sung. The dances have been danced. The hookups have been hooked up. We had ourselves a memorable time. And now, it is time to turn the lights off at this party and return to the Normandy. We'll do one save here, just in case we ever want to come back. And now, it's back to the ship. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. I suppose it's back to the fight. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. You may be right, but whatever happens, I know you'll see this through. And I'll be right there with you. We've been through a lot, haven't we? But it's been a good ride. <laughs> the best. <clears throat> I 
Drew, sounds like there's an audio glitch there. We've got two overlapping pieces of sappy music. And we're back. <clears throat> Let's see what war assets we've acquired. All right, new alien, Shadow Broker support team. The Shadow Broker's strength lies in her connections. Dr. Liara Tassoni has a team of operatives able to procure almost any supplies at any time by using an extensive network of bribes, blackmail, and favors. This logistical support has become important to building the Crucible, as the disruption of communications and travel makes gathering resources risky at the best of times. <clears throat> governor Grothen Pazness, the governor of the Batarian colony Kamala, was outspoken in the early hours of the Reaper assault, blaming the Alliance for the destruction of Batarian Kambuis that were, in fact, destroyed by the Reapers. Now liberated from his world, the governor has undergone a dramatic conversion. His daily extranet videos rally his formerly conservative xenophobic subjects to embrace the Citadel species <clears throat> as brothers and sisters in arms. Unlike many Batarian politicians, he also avoids micromanaging military affairs, content with inspirational tasks and the logistical nightmare of providing urgently needed relief to Batarian refugees. Stefano Nofke on uh, YouTube says, Have you considered playing Wasteland 2 or Final Fantasy 7? I uh, get a few of those come up every now and then, and uh, they're certainly intriguing. But I don't know if I have them high on my list right now. Joe V says, think you might do a second offline personal playthrough? Maybe someday, but right now my uh, personal time is uh, busy with other things. Liquid assets. No war can be fought without a bankroll, and the corporate mavens of Ilium know it. Having escaped the invasion, a so-called gang of five is leveraging their staggering financial power to acquire the best talent and materials for the Prothean device. They are doing so in unnecessary ignorance, believing they are hiring and acquiring parts for a new kind of fusion plant, as the device's existence is a tightly guarded secret. Alliance. 103rd Marine Division. I believe we've got an update here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Commander Shepard's interview with Diana Allers about the attempted takeover of the Citadel noted Cerberus' tactical missteps, which improved the morale of Alliance forces. I think that's the new part, and the same is true for the Alliance First Fleet. We've got an update here. Improved treatments for chemical burns are being implemented by Alliance doctors and medics. Alliance Third Fleet, to the last update, human forces fighting Cerberus took losses, due in part to a shortage of engineers in the Alliance Third Fleet. Oh dear. Alliance Fifth Fleet. Um, Krogan power grids are supplying energy to Purgatory, allowing the club to operate as usual, improving the morale of soldiers on shore leave. Then Alliance Frigate Normandy SR2. The crew of the Normandy, both past and present, have bonded over their shore leave experiences and vented stress that could otherwise damage their mental focus. They will fight for Shepard or for one another with renewed zeal. Then Crucible. Interferometic Array. Normally, interferometic arrays are used to analyze planetary land masses or to determine the astrophysical properties of stellar systems. The powerful array salvaged from the Hercules system can be used for something much more ambitious. The Crucible tunes into the mass relays command switches. Installing the interferometic array into the Crucible systems results in a real-time map of the entire galaxy, including the position of each and every Reaper in the Milky Way. Exogeny scientists. 
The Exogeny Corporation helped fund colonies all over the galaxy in exchange for a share of any natural resources found by settlers. Zoo's hope was one of their richest claims. The colonists were obligated to turn over any Prothean discoveries in the ancient ruins on Pharos. A team of Exogeny scientists studying the few scraps of Prothean materials found around Zoo's hope have become experts in their own right, contributing their knowledge to the Crucible project. Oh my god, look at all of these updates here. <clears throat> Uh, Shadow Broker Starship Tech. The Shadow Broker's unnamed vessel served as both a data repository and stealth ship for the enigmatic information trader. The ship ingeniously drew its power from the thunderstorms raging constantly on the planet it, it orbited. Relying on an interlocking system of kinetic barriers, grounding rods, and capacitors to avoid being ripped apart. These systems have been repurposed for sections of the Crucible that require the safe discharge of tremendous amounts of energy. Terminus for Raiders. The Terminus system's team with planets rich in rare elements, minerals, and other raw materials important for the Crucible. Fortunately, the Terminus systems also have a great quantity of freighter vessels. Ath uh, Ath Athabasca class ships, while only lightly armored, can carry millions of tons of freight with fuel tanks optimized for long, hazardous journeys. Advanced Power Relays. The Advanced Power Relays are 15 kilometers of insulating, insulated wiring connected to switch boxes that regulate the energy flow. Installing the relays in the Crucible will prevent catastrophic power surges from overshadowing its systems. Haptics Optics or Haptic Optics Array. The Haptic Optics Array is an experimental computer user interface. Cortical implants allow users to see screens projected in front of them. A user's eye movements are tracked, syncing to hand gestures as they sift through data. While disorienting at first, people using the Optics Array reported increased efficiency, and the technology has been adapted by several dozen engineers for use on the Crucible. All right. Krogan. Krogan clans. I believe we've got an update. Fierce toxin immune creatures known as cacliosaurs, once used as battle mounts by the Krogan, have been cloned from the fossilized cacliosaur skull discovered by Commander Shepard. And finally, Turian. Turian Special Ops Team. Guard Captain Vidinos heads a special operatives team that distinguished itself in the war on Tetris, tracking down Turian separatist leaders opposing the hierarchy. During the war, the separatists rammed a ship traveling at faster than light speeds into the heart of Tetris's capital. Vidinos' unit experienced their worst fighting in the Diluvian wildlands, unwelcomed marshes with a population deeply sympathetic to the separatist cause. This brings our war assets to 7,761, well past the minimum we need to be successful. And is that it? I don't see any further bar to cover here. So have we done everything? I think we may be ready to take the fight to the Reapers. Ethan H. says, yeah, you're prepared. Commander. How's the ship holding up, Edie? The envelope of mass-free space we create when we travel at FTL limits any impact of micro-collisions with ambient dust. Nevertheless, some ablation does occur at subluminal speeds. Normally We've actually heard that. Before the year is out. If we live that long, I will totally spring for it. Weird Beard says, uh, you need 7,800 military strength for all endings. Scout one of the galaxies to get the best endings. I think I've gotten all of the war assets in all of the galaxies. I could be wrong, but we're out of time for today. No new messages on the terminal. 
Julian Z says, yes, Ox, let's go. You and I are so ready. Thank you, Julian. Christopher Lowe, a gold derby, a silver ox, and a member for 31 months, says there is more interactions with squad mate mates back on the Silverstrand Strip. Check messages in your apartments. It, it, are, really? Really? There's more back there? I'm out of time today. Uh, we've only we've got less than 10 minutes left, and this is a good stopping point. So we'll pick up right here where we leave off next week. Same ox time, same ox channel. That's it for now. Uh, next week, we'll take the fight to the Reapers, move on with our last priority mission, see if we can find any more war assets to bring that up to 7,800. But you know what? I think we're pretty close to being ready to move on with the, the, the primary plot. So that's what we'll do next week. I hope to see you all there. I hope you don't miss it. It's going to be quite a climactic broadcast. For the rest of this week, let's see, the plan is on Wednesday to have some Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the Atlantis DLC. Thursday, we're going to continue with uh, Absalov, The Death of the Old Gods, which has become a fascinating game. Um, it's way more interesting than I thought it was going to be. I'm thoroughly enthralled by the gameplay and the story that we're uncovering. So that's a blast. I hope you'll join me then. Then Friday, we're continuing with God of War. Again, as I said earlier in the broadcast, a game I have truly uh, become to love playing. Then for the weekend, I hope to have another episode in the Steel Rain DLC for Fallout 76. We had our first episode in the Steel Rain portion of the DLC last weekend when we went to the Uncanny Caverns and uncovered some really interesting lore there. So check out that episode if you missed it. Stay tuned for the upcoming episode this weekend. And I'll see you all again Wednesday for more Assassin's Creed. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Uh, Monday. Have a good Tuesday, and I'll see you Wednesday for Assassin's Creed. Bye-bye now.